Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we've got some shrimp that we ordered off eBay. So these shrimp um, are actually not specifically for me, they're for my grandma's little shrimp tank that I set up for her. Although the smallest amount we could get was 12, so I will be keeping some of them because her tank is not very large. You guys might remember it as the little mini doted setup. I gave that to her because she wanted a little easy to maintain little setup. And so we got her some red cherry shrimp from eBay. So we had an unexpected cold spike when these guys were coming in. So I'm a little worried, but I know the seller did include two extras just in case of DOA, which is dead on arrival. So packaged well, just with this insulating foam. Pretty cool, I don't think there's any heat pack in here. Um, just a bunch of bedding, just to keep these guys safe as possible. Newspapers, pretty much. All right, so here they are, just in a little small little bag. The water is quite cold, but he did include a little shrimp food, but it looks like they're all okay. He threw in a little bit of java moss in there for them to hold on to, so that's great. So you can probably see them swimming around in there. They're all freaking out, but at least they're active. I don't see any dead ones at all, which is really good to see. And he included this little bit of shrimp food right here, which is nice. Always make sure that there's nothing else in the package. Nope, nothing else in here, so we just got this box. Always save this kind of box, because if you ever end up shipping out plants or something like that, all this stuff will be really helpful. So we got this tiny little bag. So, should be about 12 uh, red cherry shrimp in here. It looks like they all survived, even though it's pretty cool. Pretty cold weather right now, so let's get these guys in a temporary tank and take a look at them. So, unlike the Amazon seller, this guy actually did close his bag with a rubber band, which is nice to see. If you remember from the Amazon one, they just like bound it with like a piece of metal, which I'm amazed that it didn't leak out. But this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. I mean, I'm sure the Amazon seller did too. I mean, fish didn't look the best when we got it, but I mean, at least it was healthy and made the journey. But yeah, if you guys want to check out that video, you can go take a look at that. But yeah, so everybody looks healthy, even despite the cold temperatures. And uh, this is about 23 bucks for 12 uh, cherry shrimp with free shipping. So not horrible, I would say. I mean, in a store, you'd probably get about the same uh, price for 12 of them. So, and I didn't have to go to a store and risk getting sick. So that's an extra bonus. So he double bagged them, which is a nice little bonus. It's gonna let any excess water drip out. Look like this bag had a little bit of a leak. There is some java moss and some duckweed in here. So for all you guys out there that hate duckweed, be a little cautious here. I personally don't hate it. I kind of like it. Um, and I've never, I don't know if my water parameters are just weird or something, but I've never had an issue with the like normal duckweed. Giant duckweed for me uh, uh, kind of does grow out of control, but the normal size duckweed doesn't really go crazy for me. Even though I've heard that it's like a plant that everyone hates just because it grows so much. Spilled a little water here, but I don't mind. This floor has seen a lot of water. So just gonna cut open this bag and then just pour them into this little container. Always check your bag to see if there's any shrimp left in there. Um, there's a little piece of java moss and I will gladly keep this java moss and grow it out a bit. But we got all the shrimp in here. They're not like super high grade cherry shrimp. Um, they're just kind of mutt cherries. They don't have like crazy red color. Let me give you guys a look in there. But they're totally okay. I'm glad. I'm pretty happy with this. Let me count how many he sent me. One, two. We got 12 cherries in there. Here, let me take you guys off the tripod. Let's take a look at these guys. So they all look good. Again, I said nothing crazy when it comes to their like color, but they'll color up a bit, kind of like shrimp, kind of like fish after a few molts. And we got exactly 12 in here with some java moss. So that's great. 
I'll probably keep maybe six for myself and give five to my grandma. So let's just kind of get these guys in a temporary tank. We cannot keep them in here forever. All right, so I've got just a temporary pond set up for them. Just got a piece of wood in there, some horn wood for them to hang out on. Uh, no substrate or anything. Just got an airline running in here. No air stone, because I don't have another one. And just, you guys probably remember this if you've been around here for a while. Um, but yeah, just really simple little pond. Shrimp are really sensitive to water. Uh, temperature changes and quality changes. So I'm gonna have to drip acclimate them for a long time. And so I'll just keep them in here for a while. Um, maybe I'll move mine over into my guppy pond because I think they'll do fine in there. I do plan on setting up a shrimp only tank. But that'll probably come eh, probably late December because I need to, you know, get the tank actually. So this tank's just, this pond is just set up temporarily. I'll break it down after I get rid of uh, my grandma's set of shrimp. But for now, let's get these guys acclimating into here. So I'm just gonna hook these guys onto the side here and get a drip acclimation tube going so we can slowly get these guys set up to their new environment. All right, so I transferred them back into their bag. So let's just pull them into this nice soft mesh net. Hopefully we can get them all and then just get them into their temporary pond. And there's still a couple in this bag, so I'm just gonna set the bag right there Get them in there. None of the water uh, from the cellar went into the pond. So I'm just gonna kind of gently encourage them out of the net. And there we go. So you gotta be really careful with shrimp because they will stick to the net. They will try and stay in the bag. They'll do everything they can to stay on a surface. So as you can, as you might have seen, there was a shrimp just hang on to the bag. So I had to, that's why I had to put it in the water like that. Um, you want to check your bucket, uh, see if there's any shrimp that went in here. Be very careful; they'll uh, stay in a lot of places, and you might accidentally throw them out. All right, so I pulled the airline out of this tank so we can actually see them. If you can see this, we got two guys down there. Got one on that side. Another one right down there. We got them all scattered around this tank. Look at them, they're already getting to work on this wood right here. And I have some uh, algae wafer right here, some Hikari shrimp pellet right there, and the food that the seller put right there. So I'll leave this in the tank so they can have something to munch on for the rest of the day and tonight. Cause shrimp will typically not have much acclimation stress. They obviously will, but they, can, they usually get right to work after you put them in here, you can see them right down there. So this is a very temporary tank. Here, let me put the airline back in there. I just took it out so that or we could film them. But yeah, just gonna keep them in here like this for a couple days or until I can deliver these guys to their permanent home. So here's the tank's final spot. The plants had a little bit of melt back when coming to the new water, but as you can see, the Rotala is bouncing back. The Limnophila is struggling a bit. This tank's always had a little bit of this thread algae. It was like hair algae, but it did get a little cyanobacteria last time I was here, but it looks like it's dying off. So we brought over our little shrimp right here. You can probably see them down here. So I'm gonna get these guys acclimated and we'll see how they look in their new little setup. So it's real dark in this corner, but I'll just give you guys a quick look at the setup. Just got a airline tube feeding down here, just dripping into this container where our little shrimp are. I only brought four of them over because this tank's only about a quarter gallon. And if they do end up breeding, I'll need to separate them out. But this will be a perfectly fine shrimp home. The water quality is good. I just tested it. The pH is lower than my house, so it's about 7.0 neutral pH which is good because shrimp like a lower pH. And if you guys want me to talk more about shrimp, I can do that. But so yeah, without further ado, let's just wait for these guys to acclimate. Do this for about 30 minutes, and then we'll put them in their new setup. All right, everyone, I got the shrimp in the net right here. So let's just 
get them in. So it might take them a little while to come out of the net, but I'm just gonna give them their time. There they go. everyone that was the video hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions in the comments thanks for watching hope you enjoyed those shrimp and i'll see you next time